Hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today we're going to discuss a topic that I've been wanting to cover for months and months. We're going to go over Irish whiskey. I love Irish whiskey, man. I really do. And that's the cool thing down here at the Basement Bourbon Bar. And I hope you folks do the same. Don't pigeonhole yourself into one particular whiskey, per se bourbon, scotch, rye whiskey, you know, Irish whiskey even, whatever. You know, enjoy. Try to, try to broaden your horizons just a little bit and enjoy what whiskey has to deliver all around the world, man. It's just... It's just fantastic, and Irish is is absolutely one of my favorite whiskey categories, and I am stoked up that we finally get to cover it here today on this particular video. Now, there is four different types of Irish whiskeys, all right? There is blended, single grain, single malt, and single pot still. Those are your four types of Irish whiskeys. And unfortunately, as I spoke before, our, our scotch, our, our scotch bottles that we can buy here in my area is poor at best. And it follows suit exactly with Irish whiskey. And, and we just don't have a lot to pick from here. We just don't. And, and that's a fact. So single grain, we're not really going to cover today because I just don't have the bottles. I only have one single grain Irish whiskey and that's Teeling single grain which is fabulous everyone's gonna run you about $45 it's got a lot of uh, a vanilla and a cream belay thing going in there like a creamy vanilla very creamy really nice bottle about 45 bucks but we're not gonna go through that for sake of time and I just don't have anything else to give you now in the other three categories what I want to do today is I want to give you I want to give you an option that's uh, budget friendly let's just say that and I also want to give you what one of my favorites is in each particular category of the blended single malt and single pot still. Hey, before we get started, take a moment, if you would please, check out our merch store. I'm trying to put it up somewhere here, put it up down there in the description. You'll find a link somewhere to check out our merch store. For those of you that already have, we certainly appreciate that. You can get some cool t-shirts, hoodies, what trend caps, um, Glenn, Glenn Karen's. I mean, he's got all kinds of cool stuff in there, man. He's done a great job on that stuff. Really, really nice. Check it out when you have time. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes of what we want to discuss today. I'm excited. I'm going to go uh, from my least favorite, and when I say that, I don't really want to mean it's, it's not it's bad. But I, I'm going to, as far as categories, I'm going to go to my what my least favorite is to my absolute most favorite category of Irish whiskey. So we're going to start out with discussing blended Irish whiskey. Now a blended Irish whiskey can be a combination of uh, two or more of any types of Irish whiskey. So basically a single malt, as we discussed, single pot still, single grain. So you can mix any of the two or more or even all three and you'll get your blended Irish whiskey. So the first bottle that I want to show you today is more of a budget type friendly Blended Irish whiskey. Patty's Old Irish whiskey. Patty's Old Irish whiskey comes in at about $25 and is 80 proof. Patty's was first produced in 1779. It is triple distilled in Cork, Ireland and blended with three styles of Irish whiskey. Single pot still, single malt, and single grain. This particular Irish whiskey, it is a $25 bottle, so let's keep that in mind. But you really get some decent flavors in there too. I find it, I found it to be really, really nice, and I wanted to offer it to you as a, as a budget type of a blended Irish. It's got a little bit of a malted cereal in there. Uh, it is a tiny bit floral, and it's got a little bit of a hint of vanilla in there too. And it's, it's really, really a nice introduction to Irish whiskey for 25 bucks. All right. My pick, my favorite down here at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar right now when it comes to blended Irish whiskey is this one right here. Powers Gold Label. Powers Gold Label will run you about $32 
and is 86.4 proof and believe it or not is non-chill filtered. Powers Gold is the entry level bottling under the Powers portfolio. It is a blended Irish whiskey made of triple distilled pot still and grain whiskey. For me, for 32 bucks, this is really, really good stuff here. It just is. It's non-chill filtered. You just don't get that. I mean, you get some, you get some malty notes in there. You get a little bit of a, a buttered toast type flavor in there. You know, and it follows suit with a little bit of honey, and you'll see that quite a bit in Irish whiskeys. A little bit of the lighter flavors per se, like a vanilla wafer biscuit honey. You'll hear a lot of that, and it's it's very true with Irish Irish whiskey, and especially here in this Powers Gold label. A fantastic buy, honestly, in my opinion, that's a fantastic buy for 32 bucks. All right, we got to keep moving here. We're going to move on to our next category. My next favorite style of Irish whiskey would be the single malt Irish whiskey. Now, with single malt Irish whiskey, it has to be made with 100% malted barley. It has to be distilled in a pot still, and it has to be made in one particular distillery. And that's it. So the very first option I want to give you is a little bit more budget friendly for a single malt Irish whiskey. Tyrconnell. Tyrconnell single malt Irish whiskey is going to run you about $35 and it is 86 proof. The Tyrconnell was named after a winning racehorse in 1876 and was originally produced at the now defunct Watt Distillery. The Tyrconnell is now double distilled at the Kilbegan Distillery and then aged in ex bourbon casks. Now th this is this is an exceptional buy here for uh, 35 bucks for a single malt Irish whiskey, 35 bucks, now come on. I mean, you get a little bit of that, that uh, toasted malt. Now there's a little bit of a, a sour citrus thing going on there, which is kind of nice. It's trying to eat like that. It's got a little bit of sourness in there, just a tiny bit. But then it also has that, that beautiful honey flavor that comes through too. It's, a, it's exceptional single malt for $35. Now, moving forward, this is going to get big time on us here real quick, but my favorite, and I, and I wish he washed around this a little bit, but doggone it, I want to show you what my favorite single malt is right now in SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Bushmills 21 Year. Bushmills 21 Year Single Malt will cost you 250 bucks and it comes in at 80 proof. The old Bushmills Distillery has survived for over four centuries. The 21 year is comprised of two aged whiskeys. One is matured only in ex-bourbon casks and the other in Oloroso sherry casks. They are then combined for two years in ex-Madeira wine casks. Okay, now let me just say, I, I realize this is kind of an expensive bottle and it will cost you about 250 bucks, but I'm just gonna tell you something. In my opinion, it's worth every single penny of that 250 bucks. I mean, it, it is, it has got such a creamy maltiness to it. And there's some just amazing orchard fruit flavors in there. And it's followed up on the end with some little bit of raisins and chocolate. I mean, it is absolutely fabulous. It really is. And we've talked about that before. 250 bucks, a lot of money. But if, if you kind of save it for special times with family and friends, uh, it's just, it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful experience. So that's my favorite Irish single ball. We're going to move on to the last and final category, which is my favorite. My favorite category of Irish whiskey, single pot still. Okay, single malt Irish whiskey. Here's what it has to. Here's what it has to be. It has to contain at least 30% malted barley and 30% unmalted barley. It has to be produced in a pot still, distilled in a pot still, and it has to be produced in one single distillery. So. That's the idea with the single pot still. The very first bottle I want to show you, which I think is just a, re it's just so, so good for the money. Powers Three Swallow. 
Powers 3 Swallow will cost you 45 bucks. It's a non-age statement whiskey and it comes in at 86.4 proof. Powers 3 Swallow is a single pot still whiskey made from malted and unmalted barley. It is aged in ex-bourbon casks and finished in Oloroso sherry casks. To me, out of this whole show, I'm just going to be honest with you, this Three Swallow, to me, is the steal of the show for the money. For the money. This whiskey absolutely delivers, and, and to be truthful, I bought this because of one of you good folks out there recommended it to me. Thank you for that. I can't remember who it was, but man, what a great recommend, recommendation. Absolutely some beautiful, uh, beautiful stuff. You got a lot of tropical notes in there, some apples, some little bit of banana, you get a little bit of cream brulee and a little bit of butterscotch on the back end. And I'm not joking about that either. I mean, I'm being dead serious. That's that or some, that's some of the flavors you can get in this particular bottle for $45. Steal of the show. Keep your eye out for Powers 3 Swallow. Last but not least, on my favorite category for Irish whiskey, single pot still. Redbreast 15 year. Redbreast 15 year will cost you about 100 bucks and comes in at 92 proof. Redbreast is the largest selling single pot still Irish whiskey in the world and is considered to be the definitive expression of the traditional Irish spirit. Redbreast 15 year is aged in a combination of ex bourbon barrels and Oloroso sherry casks. If you folks have watched quite a bit of my videos you know I am absolutely in love with red breast 27 year oh my god some amazing berry flavors in there but that's gonna run you about 450 bucks so we covered that before so I, I really wanted to show you uh, another single pot still that I really really love and it is in the red breast family I have them all I've got the 12, the 12 cask proof, the 15, the 21, the 27. In my opinion, if I'm not sipping that 27 is like the pinnacle of the red breast family. It just is, let's face it. But this 15 year is absolutely uh, phenomenal. It's just wonderful. You got some amazing stone fruits, a little bit of actually, I get a little bit of like a fresh crack pepper. It's just, it's crazy. And then I get a little, some barley notes there and a little toasted wood action going on there. But the stone fruits, that cracked pepper, a little bit of the toasted wood, what an amazing sipper. Absolutely fantastic. That's all I have for you today. I got through it as quick as I could. I was super excited, honestly, about sharing Irish whiskey with you. If you've never had, if you've never tried, Pick one of these bottles and see what you think. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. We're going to end this show with a little sip of Bushmills 21 year. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Trim. Just tr <laughs> fabulous. Honestly. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. As always, we're going to ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.